Hey gorgeous, it's Carlene. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing some fragrances that would be perfect this spring during the evenings. So whether you're going out on a date or you're hanging out with some friends, any sort of evening situation, I think these fragrances would be perfect for. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing what these fragrances are, then please keep watching. Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. I'm so grateful for you and the fact that you chose to spend this part of your day over here. And to those of you who have just discovered my channel, on this channel I make videos on luxury, I do review videos, I share my fragrance journey, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of lifestyle in my monthly vlogs. So if any of those things sound good to you, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. The first fragrance that I think would be perfect for spring evenings this year is Dolce & Gabbana's Devotion. Devotion is a sweet fragrance. It's also a fragrance that I would consider a gourmand, but it's not your typical edible smelling fragrance. It has a sweetness to it, but it's not over the top, so it never gets too sweet. It's not like a toothache inducing sweet type of fragrance. I feel like they definitely made this appropriate for any season and for various types of people. It's appropriate for many different types of occasions and it's just beautiful. At the top of this fragrance you have that candied lemon and when I smell this fragrance, when I first spray it out, the candied lemon reminds me of those gummy-like candies that were covered and coated in sugar crystals. They're not quite a gummy, they're a little bit more gelatinous than a gummy bear, but they were very chewy. And these candies were covered with those white refined sugar crystals. If you know what I'm talking about, leave it down in the comments. But I used to eat those candies when I was a kid and I would always avoid the lemon ones. I would save those for last. And that's what this smells like to me. Now as an adult, I still don't like lemon flavored candy, but I can appreciate a good lemon scent in my fragrance. This lemon is not zesty. It's a candied lemon. And just like I described, those candies were more of an artificial lemon. So they weren't like a pure lemon. You have orange blossom, which I do pick up. Orange blossom is a very velvety, slightly creamy white floral. There's also rum at the mid of this fragrance which I do detect as well however it's not like a soaking of rum the rum is very subtle here it just kind of balances out that mid and then you get something called panna cotta which is a dessert recently hubby and I were celebrating at a restaurant and they actually had panna cotta on the menu so I said let me go ahead and try it and it was very delicious panna cotta is very similar to creme brulee it's more of the inside of the creme brulee but slightly thicker in consistency and a lot less sweet so it does have that flame broiled top. It's a lot thicker in consistency. It's served cold similar to the inside of a creme brulee and it's a lot less sweet. That's what the panna cotta in here smells like. I think they nailed it with that note. And then you get a little spiking of the rum. The base has a gorgeous vanilla so this dries down very sweet. The first time I had this on the person that uh, I passed by said that I smelled delicious. So be warned, people will think you smell delicious with this fragrance. And for that reason, I think it's perfect for this spring during the evenings. Whether you're going to a movie, a dinner, or you're staying at home, I think this is perfect. It's a year-round, all-occasion type of scent. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this scent. So this is Dolce & Gabbana's Devotion. Speaking of rum, this next fragrance has a beautiful rum note. And I feel like rum is more central here. And this fragrance is also a dupe for a very popular fragrance. This is Paris Corners December Vanilla. December Vanilla is your rum spiked creme brulee dessert and I absolutely love the way that this smells. This is supposed to be a dupe for Kayali's Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. I did own Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli at one point and while I absolutely loved the notes in that fragrance, it was just a bit too potent, too strong, too beastmal for my liking. I couldn't really enjoy all of the notes because of that reason. So I was happy to discover this dupe because I wanted to give that fragrance another try and I was really pleasantly surprised to discover that this is a much lighter version of Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. So December Vanilla opens up with rum and Vanilla Orchid and Jasmine. So you get that rum in the opening, it's almost like the florals are spiked 
spiked with rum. And then almost immediately you start picking up on the vanilla and the creme brulee, that creamy fluffiness at the mid of this fragrance. And the rose, the spicy notes, the leather. This fragrance is very complex and you really start picking up on all of those notes once you get into the mid. At the base of this, you start picking up on brown sugar. It's almost like that creme brulee has been sprinkled with some more brown sugar. It gets even more sweet at the base. It gets resinous. And so while the mid was very fluffy and creamy, it starts to get thicker and denser and very silky on the dry down. So I absolutely love this fragrance. I think it's great for, of course, nighttime events. Definitely a date night type of scent and a scent that you can wear even to like a gala, a black tie event, that sort of a thing. This is one that I'm really happy to have in my collection. It's one of those dress up to go somewhere special type of scents for me. And also one that I wore in the cooler months because it was really cozy, it gave me a cozy feel. So this is December Vanilla by Paris Corner. The next fragrance I have just recently talked about in a previous video, and this is Jury by Kajal. As you can see by the packaging, Jury by Kajal is a very deep and sensual type of scent. And then also by the packaging, you can see that it is a rose forward scent. Now what makes this fragrance extremely interesting is that it is also equally a very honey forward fragrance. So although honey is one of the base notes in here, I can smell the honey almost right away. And I also love that this opens up very warm and spicy. So you get some spices in the opening, a very bright opening. This does have bergamot in the opening. And then at the mid, you start getting florals. So there's a rose note, which is the rose that is more prominent in this scent. But there's also an Elang Elang, which I feel like gives this a banana-like nuance, adding more to the edible components of this fragrance. Now, while I don't think that this is a gourmand, I do think that this is a very realistic honey fragrance. So this is a fragrance that I pull out when I am going out on a date, when I wanna feel extra bold, extra sexy, extra confident. This is also one that sometimes I wear to bed because it is hubby approved. So I love the way this fragrance makes me feel. This is, as I mentioned in a previous video, a femme fatale type of fragrance. And that is exactly what it does for my mood. It gives me a boost of confidence and boldness. And I absolutely love the way this is done. I do think this is something that men could wear as well, but in my opinion, it is more feminine leaning. So this is Jury by Kajal, a perfect spring evening fragrance. So this next fragrance is one that I have talked about extensively on the channel. I will link the videos where I reference this fragrance here for you so that you can go back and watch. So I'm not going into too much detail here, but this is Paris Corner's Rifa Cat. This is, as many of you know, a dupe for YSL's Baby Cat. And while I have never smelled Baby Cat, I absolutely adore the way that this fragrance smells. It smells luxurious. It smells very luxe. It's a vanilla forward fragrance that is not your typical vanilla. To me, this fragrance smells like I'm sitting in someone's study or someone's library in a mansion or castle and there are vanilla pods sprinkled throughout the room and that's how the vanilla is emanating that's how it presents in this fragrance so it's not an overly sweet fragrance never gets too sweet the vanilla is very sophisticated here as this fragrance wears on my clothes and on my skin it gets slightly fluffy and even more creamy which I find very interesting so the longer this wears it just gets a little bit more vanillic, sweeter and fluffier. It opens up with black pepper and pink pepper and those peppers subside within like the first 10 minutes and you really start to enjoy that gorgeous vanilla scent that is in here. So I love this fragrance. I think it's one of those black tie gala type of scents. So this is one you wear when you are super dressed up, but I've been enjoying this on an everyday basis. And this is one that I would definitely wear if I were going out on a date, if I were going to the theater to see a show Show. This one is something that I would definitely reach for. So this is Paris Corners Rifa Cat. This next fragrance is one that I think would be perfect for those nights in or if you're going out to the movies and you're doing something a little bit more casual and you just want something soothing, cozy, sensual, and sexy at the same time. And this is YSL's Black Opium Le Parfum. Black Opium Le Parfum has four different kinds of vanilla. It opens up with some beautiful florals, a slight solar accord so I think the solar accord just 
keeps it from getting too dense in the beginning and the opening of this fragrance and it has a coffee note but to my nose I don't pick up the coffee note very strongly when I want to amp up the coffee note in here sometimes I will layer this with French coffee from Al Rahab but aside from that I don't really pick up too much of the coffee another layering combo I just thought of is pairing this with bond number no. nine's new Harlem I think that might smell really nice so I might try that later this evening but anyway this is a beautiful fragrance on its own it lasts all day on the clothes and I absolutely love how cozy yet sensual this fragrance feels I think this fragrance strikes a very beautiful balance between cozy and sensual so this is this is really pricey for a designer fragrance but in my opinion I think it smells very elevated much more elevated than the original black opium and all of the flankers I think this is one that if you did not jive with the original black opium like I didn't you might really enjoy this one. It's a vanilla that you can wear all year round and in any occasion. So I love, love, love Black Opium Le Parfum. And this is one that I will definitely be reaching for this spring in the evenings when I am chilling at home, when I'm out with the family during the evening. You know, those types of more casual settings. This next fragrance is one that I've done a dedicated review on. I've mentioned it several times on the channel. And by now I'm sure you'll know that this is one of my faves. And this is Mula Mula Double Caramel by Byron Parfum. This is the type of fragrance that I will be pulling out this spring when I'm getting together with friends. I think this fragrance is so fun yet so bold and very put together and very dressed up. I love all of the different facets of this fragrance. So this fragrance opens up with caramel and fruits then it gives you more caramel at the mid, strawberries. There's an oud in here but it's not an oud that you can pick up. It just balances the fragrance. So this fragrance opens up very sweet and then it gets even more sticky sweet at the mid the vanilla comes in this is just a beautiful fragrance I think this fragrance is the perfect fragrance for get-togethers where a lot of people you know are going to be there I think this is a very celebratory type of scent and I love it mm, this is gorgeous y'all a gorgeous scent this does smell very similar to the original Mula Mula but in my opinion I definitely detect more of a caramel in here it's like the caramel marries together with those fruits so this is neither caramel nor fruit forward but it's a combination of those two things that's very prominent in this fragrance if you want to get noticed this fragrance will get you noticed you will definitely get attention with this scent it's a very fun scent but it has substance and it's also very sweet so they've grounded this fragrance in such a beautiful way yet it's still fun it's still sexy it's so bold so I love all of the different facets of this scent so this is Mula Mula double caramel by Byron Parfum one that you already know I will be wearing this spring because I've talked about it so much and I'm obsessed <laughs> I wanted to throw in a bonus here so I'm pretty much finished with the list but this is a bonus fragrance because I love the way this fragrance wears on the skin now I'm mostly a clothes wearer but this fragrance on the skin is absolutely gorgeous this fragrance is forbidden sugar by Paris corner the Amir line and y'all this fragrance is very interesting so this fragrance is sweet and fruity very fluffy it has marshmallow in here it's also very sexy there's a honey note in here it has a slight like soapy aftershave sort of scent but it's done in a very unique way this is a very unique fragrance so this is another one that if you want to get noticed wear this this is a perfect evening time fragrance this is one that you can wear in any type of setting in my opinion and this is one that i love wearing in the evenings at home so it's very sweet and fluffy and candy like and then at the base of this as it starts to dry down you still get that gorgeous candied honey the honey in here is not animalic it's a honey though that you can perceive because it gives this very syrupy sweet sort of vibe so this is candy like it's fluffy it has a syrupy sweet sort of essence and the dry down of this gives you more of a powdery nuance so it gets slightly powdery and all of the edge in the beginning sort of dials back and you're left with a very powdery soft sweet still kind of candy like and fluffy base so this is so interesting this is one that's hard to describe but it's one that I am drawn to and I love 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 it I sprayed it on my skin last night and the way this played with my skin was absolutely intoxicating so this is one that I'm throwing in as a bonus 
definitely check this one out if you are on the hunt for some new Arabian scents. This is Forbidden Sugar by Paris Corners Amir line. All right, friend, if you're still here, thank you so much for still being here. I'm so appreciative. Before you go, if you found this video helpful, interesting, entertaining, definitely give it a thumbs up on your way out because that really helps my channel grow. And also, if you're new here and you enjoy fragrance content, I make quite a bit of it on the channel now. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on that notification bell so you never miss another video. Before you click off of the video today, I just want to remind you to keep shining. Keep showing that beautiful smile of yours. Keep showing up as your truest self every single day. And I will be over here doing the exact same thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.